In today's video, I'm going to tell you the top 10 women's jeans brands that are selling the best in 2023 on eBay and Poshmark. This list is based on 1,000 sold listings, 500 from eBay, 500 from Poshmark. Poshmark was sorted by just in to get listings that sold quickly, and eBay was sorted by recently added, again, to get listings that sold quickly. And then both were filtered for sold prices between $25 and $100. So these should be brands that will sell for you between 25 and 100 and will sell quickly. And then we also looked at items that sold between 100 and $250, but that will be a separate video that will come out next. The first two brands, I can walk in a thrift store or walk to a garage sale and just walk along the edge of a rack and find these brands. So those brands are Miss Me and Rock Revival. These Two brands were super popular when I was in high school in rural Iowa. The kids that had more money, these are the brands they would wear. And I graduated in 2010, so it surprises me that these jeans are still as popular as they are. I have an example here of how you can really quickly identify Miss Me's and Rock Revivals. So I have a pair of Miss Me's and a pair of American Eagle jeans. So see along the edge here, the Miss Me's have this thick stitching along the edge and that's how you can identify them. If you walk along a row of jeans, most jeans aren't, you're not gonna be able to notice the stitching, but Miss Me's have this thick stitching, Rock Revival does as well. And Rock Revival usually it's like all the way down the leg. So you can very quickly find them by just walking along the edge and looking for the jeans that have the thicker stitching along the side. Let's talk a little bit in more detail about each of these two brands. Rock Revival came out number six on the list. Of the 1,000 listings, 49 of them were from Rock Revival. And it came out near the top in terms of the average sold price at $62. Actually, that was in the middle. Yeah, it wasn't in the top three, but it was in the middle range for the average sold price. Then Miss Me. Miss Me came out number two. I cannot believe Miss Me is still as popular because again, it was really popular when I was in high school 15 years ago. So the fact it's coming out number two on the list surprises me. But I think it's just people who like Miss Me, really like Miss Me, and just keep wearing them. Important to note though, 73% of the sold Miss Me's were on eBay. So a lot more of them were selling on eBay than Poshmark. And it was number nine when I ranked the brands by sold price. So it was the second to lowest in terms of the price Miss Me's are selling for. Okay, let's move on to two more brands. These brands are new to the list. So I did this vi same video two years ago. And these two brands were not on the list at all two years ago. And there's a very specific reason. And that reason is that flare jeans are very popular right now. And these two brands are specifically, there is a flare leg jean from this brand that is pushing it into the top 10. So first the brand is free people. So free people came out number eight on the list with 37 of the 1000 being from free people. And of those 37 listings, over 60% had the word either flare or bell in the title. So there are a lot of free people jeans out there. I've sold some in the past that did not sell at all. So you don't want to pick up all free people jeans. But if you find flare leg free people jeans, pick them up. They are super hot. And specifically, there's a style I didn't write in my notes. It's like on the flow or float something. I'll put it on the screen. If you see this style jean, pick it up. It's selling really well right now. And I'll put a picture in because it's hard to miss if you find these jeans. They have a massive flare at the bottom. It's like float on, just float on, I think was the title. The number three brand is the brand Seven for All Mankind. 54 of the 1,000 listings were from Seven for All Mankind. Again, it didn't even come up in the top 10 when I did this video two years ago. Now it's number three on the list and 50 of the 54 solds were one style. So this brand has lots of different styles of jeans. I've sold like a style called Roxanne from this brand. I've sold, I can't remember the other styles, but I've sold multiple styles from Seven for All Mankind. One style was 50 of the 54 and that style is Dojo's. I sold a few dojos as well. So dojos are wide leg jeans. I will put in a picture here. So for these two brands, Free People and Seven for All Mankind, you specifically want to look for either the flare leg jeans from Free People or the dojo style from Seven for All Mankind. 
And you can quickly find these by just scanning the bottom of jeans and looking for the really wide leg or the, the flare bell bottom of the jean. Next, let's talk about the two brands that came up on the list in 2021 that shocked me that I did not expect to come up in the top 10. So those two brands were Judy Blue and Can Can. One of these has dropped out of the top 10 entirely and one is Holding Strong. So both of these brands, Judy Blue and Can Can, they don't have their own retail locations. They're sold at, most often they're sold at boutique stores or they're sold at places like Maurice's or Buckle where they carry a few different jean brands. So the one that has fallen out of the list is Can Can. So Can Can in 2021 was the number one brand for 50 to $100 Poshmark sales. But this year it has fallen out of the top 10. And the brand then that is held on is Judy Blue. Judy Blue came out number 10 and 23 of the 1,000 listings were from the brand Judy Blue. And it makes me happy because over the last two years, so many of you have tagged me in your sold listings when you sell the brand Judy Blue because you had never heard of it until I pulled the data for the video two years ago. And well, it looks like it's still selling well. So keep your guys eye out for Judy Blue. There was no, not one specific style that was coming up in the sold listings. It was a mixture of different styles. So if you find Judy Blue, again, just check the sold comps for the style you found, but it could definitely be worth picking up again, especially, oh, I did want to note, this was the lowest average sold price. So you do want to make sure you're getting it at a good price, but Judy Blue looks like it's still a good pickup. We've got half of the brands done, half the brands to go. This video is part of a three-part series that I'm doing with all this data that we pulled about jean brands. The first video I did was all about the specific styles that are selling the best in general, like which rises are selling the best, which styles and lengths of jeans are selling the best. So if you wanna see that video, it is right around 10 minutes long and I will link it in the description and in the pinned comments, you can watch that video next. And then this is the second video of the series. And the third will be brands that are selling most often over $100. Also, I want to give a shout out to Jennifer. She's a viewer of the channel who automated the polling of this data to make this video much easier for me to do. And if you guys would thank her by going and checking out her Poshmark closet, which is ooh O-O-H-A-H-H, -H -H, I would really appreciate it. Brand number nine. Yeah, so now I'm just going to fill in the five that are less. So we, number 10 was Judy Blue. Number nine is Good American. So this is Khloe Kardashian's jean brand. 24 of the 1,000 sold listings were from the brand Good American. The only thing that really stood out when I looked through the sold listings was that about 50% of the listings were skinny jeans. So again, with Good American, you're just going to probably going to want to pick it up, but if you want to double check yourself, look up the style name of the Good American Jeans and look at sold listings on Poshmark or eBay to see what they've been selling for. Number seven, if you guys know jeans, you are expecting this brand to come up on the list. That brand is Madewell. So Madewell has been selling jeans for a long time. Their jeans have been very popular. So you might find this brand a decent amount if you live in an area where people buy Madewell. Iowa, I don't really find it. But anytime I go travel somewhere, I find Madewell. And so you're going to want to look at the style and check if that style is still selling well. So 30% of the sold listings were the style, the perfect vintage jean. So if you see that style, you, you're probably going to want to pick it up. And I also want to note that this brand was in the top five two years ago. So it has fallen a little bit to number seven. And then the final tip for Madewell is that when I have found this brand, about half of the time, it has some pretty bad puckering by the zipper. So again, I'll put in a picture. If you find Madewell though, um, check if it has puckering because that is definitely going to make it hard to sell, if not impossible, depending on how bad the puckering is. So again, I'll put in pictures so you know what to look for, but I've noticed with Madewell, it is more common than it is with other brands. Number five, again, if you know jeans, you are expecting this brand to come up. Actually, even if you don't know jeans that well, just if you are a human, <laughs> when, it, when it comes to jeans, if you were to ask somebody a jean brand, this is probably the first one they name, Levi's. So Levi's came up number five. And when I did the video a couple of years ago, it was coming out number one. So again, Levi's has fallen a little bit. 
50 of the 1,000 sold listings were from Levi's. Levi's deserves its own video and its own deep dive and research. Even for me who've sold a lot of jeans, Levi's are hard for me. There's just so many Levi's out there. A lot of them are not worth very much on the resale market, but there's a handful that are. So here's what I got from my quick dig into the 50 listings that sold. Half of them had vintage in the title, uh, which is notable because none of the other brands uh, had vintage as a recurring theme, like truly vintage jeans. So half of the Levi's were truly vintage jeans. One third had straight in the title. 20% were the 501 style specifically. And then I just noted that if it says Denizen, Levi's Denizen, that is a low end Levi's brand and you should definitely leave that one behind. Number four is the brand A Goldie with 51 of the 1000 listings, listings being from A Goldie. So Levi's and A Goldie were almost the same, only one listing different, 50 for Levi's, 51 for A Goldie. As I looked through the solds, what jumped out to me was the word Riley. So Riley is a high rise straight crop jean. If you watch my style video, you'll know that those are all things that are really popular right now. High rise, straight and crop. So this style, the Riley fits all of the things that are popular. And that's probably why a third of the sold listings from this brand were the style, the Riley. So that's one specific thing to look for if you find a Goldie. And it also had the second highest average sale price with a $90 average sale price. So definitely, if you find a Goldie, take a look at it, check out the style. Even if it's pri priced up a little bit, check if that style is selling really well. And finally, we have the number one spot. Those of you watching, do you know what it is? Levi's is gone, Madewell is gone, Rock Revival is gone. Some of those that might come to your mind. What's left? The number one brand is Mother. I have found Mother a couple times. It has sold well for me every time I found it. And 132 of the 1,000 sold listings were from the brand Mother. Mother is one that's pretty easy to identify. For this brand, you're gonna actually have to look through the jeans and look for look at the back pockets. So you want to look for an M on the back pockets. I'll put in a picture here. Mother jeans have an M stitched in. So again, they're easy to identify if you know to look for that M. And not only were they not the number one in terms of frequency, they were also the number one in terms of average sale price. Across the all the listings we pulled, so up to the $250 maximum, the average sale price for the mother listings was $104. And there were some recurring words in what's selling for mother. And those were fray, ankle, and crop. Again, if you watch my style video, you'll be familiar with these words. And then two more specific tips for what to look for on mother jeans. The style, the looker, came up um, about a fourth of the sold listings. So specifically the looker ankle fray and the looker ankle crop were coming up a lot. And then 19 of them were specifically the insider crop. So if you see the looker or the insider, those might be worth more money or more likely to sell. Those are the 10 women's brands that are selling best in 2023. And if you wanna make sure to see the next video for the best brands that are selling for between $100 and $250, make sure you subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and that video should be out who knows, I have a busy life, but sometime in the next few weeks. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you all for watching and stay tuned because I will have a new video out soon.